The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Bowser Chapman. This is the uh, what, Thursday, the seventh edition of March. We've got the Tiger Technicians Hour going right now. We're looking at the Dow up 152 at 38,816. So we have in the Dow a cell signal which could very well today be upgraded to a cell mode. How it tests out this up channel, this little mini inside track repellent zone, which was a propellant zone, now it's a repellent zone. It's going to be important uh, at 38,817. In the next two, three sessions, if there is a close under 38,500, that would signal that uh, not only do we have a cell mode in the Dow, that there's a real good chance that the uh, 38,300s will be tested very soon. That's the negative side. The upside is that if there's a close above 39,000 by Friday afternoon, Friday's close, that suggests that you not only have a rebound that is keeping the weekly chart very, very strong. You can see this leg B going to a PP last week. And the MACD is good. Nine's way over the 14. Now, talk about the nine over the 14. I wanted to show this. I, say, I mentioned in the den earlier on. Someone asked me about the Chapman Wave two click session. What does that mean? It means that using uh, just a one indicator, and that's the 914 crossover, very often, and when I say very often, I mean that in, in a month, it could be, oh, 14 to 18 sessions out of the, what is it, 20, um, four, five, four, five. Yeah, say 20 sessions a month. There could be, uh, so that's a week. Yeah, there could be a, a much greater preponderance of when the nine period moving average in the 10 minute E mini chart crosses positive, and it did that right at that 5100 level, which is, this is the, uh, horizontal magnet line, um, it could stay that way as long as that nine period moving average remains positive. Um, you didn't have that yesterday, but you had it a couple of days ago. I wonder if I've got enough information. I don't think I can go back enough. Oh, okay, I think I can. Yeah, look, right here. This is at 10 o'clock on, I think it was Friday. 10 o'clock on the 4th, yes. Look what happened. It went positive, and it held positive all the way through until uh, 5, just about 3.30 in the afternoon. And then it turned down, but it was actually only at just about the close, where the nine period moving average turned negative. Well, if you use this one indicator, you would have got in at about 51 37 on the E-mini, and you would have got out. Gee, if you just use the indicator itself, you would have got out at 51, 35. So that wouldn't have helped. But look at that fantastic to the peak E. Look at that fabulous run-up using just this one indicator, even when it went horrible, right there. Turned down sharply at 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, that green 9 period moving average still held. So the reason why I mentioned this is that uh, I was asked about the two-click session, and that will show you that today at 5,100, when it turned positive, you could be holding it based on this 10-minute chart all the way through here at 5,146. And then you would have to use the five-minute chart to say, whoa, that's going to be the tell. If that starts to break, i got to watch that 10-minute chart. Well, even on this sharp dip uh, momentarily at 8.10 this morning, Eastern time, when it went to 5,120, it held the green line period moving average. Uh, isn't it nicer to do a two-click session, even if you get out? Look, this is seven hours already. Uh, I wasn't up at that time, but look what happened when it turned positive right there. About six o'clock, it was still moving high. So it's, it's just an indicator. And what I wanted, I, the reason why I wanted to show it is that um, 
within the context, let me just make this an A right now, within the context of analysis, analyses, we should say, you can make it difficult or you can make it hard, uh, make it easy. Um, I, for my own purpose, very often in the intraday stuff, uh, I can, I've got a meeting or I've got something going on, I've got the show, I've got, so just to clear my mind so that I can do the show clearly, I very often just get out of whatever it is. Um, and sometimes that's wrong because you should just put the stop in and let it run. But it does mean that you keep your eye on one thing instead of keeping it on your focus, which is, in this case, assessing the market for listeners to TFNN. So here we go. So the Dow is, this is a dreaded H pattern right here. What does that mean? It means that the market rallies, then it takes a dive, it comes down, sharp move down, tries to rally, and then fails below the, the major high that we're looking at, and creates a pattern that looks like this. If I can just get that away, I'll be able to show it to you. There it is. And makes a pattern like this. Drag it across. That's the lowercase h. So I have these three moving parts that I always look at. Straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, or a mix of one and two or one and three. In this case, one and three is where it goes sharply down, then rallies to peak A or a B, and then takes out the left side low, because it can go one to one to the downside. Well, look what happened here. Let me, let me maybe I'll go to this chart because it's clearer. So what happened is, here's the Dow, INDU. <clears throat> it, it comes off that high that was made in the little doji candle right there and pulls back to the 40 pre moving average, rallies to peak A. I call it a gray A because it hasn't taken out the high over there. And then it takes out this left side low and it goes almost one to one to the downside. That's the dreaded H. But you've got three bars, two bars. I sometimes say you can go three bars to get back above, on a closing basis, above that low, in this case, 38,741. Well, yesterday it tried to do it, but it closed lower, and today it's above it. So this is now the second day since it broke down. So this is a very important thing to watch. Looking at the nine period moving average, you can see this is the 914, and this is the Dow daily chart. This is the big thick gray line is the current Dow price. It went under it. It didn't take it to pink. It's just as over here. It didn't take it to pink. It's still green. That's the reason why, even though we're, we are we have a short position, um, our core position, long positions are still long. This is just a trading position at this particular point. If I'm going to add to it, I can only add to it. And I want to just, I'm taking this as a little, uh, yeah, a monologue on, on what we're looking at. And that says the S&P, which is trading up uh, 39 at 51.43.88. It has not made a new high yet, but this is a G slash C, and we've seen so many times how often the um, G slash C eventually gives you the D. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this to have an inside check the balance zone a little higher, but it's so steep. But you'd have to go quite high. If you actually break above it, you'd have to be almost at 50, 5190s. I'll be back. Dow's up 160 and the SP's up 38. Dow's up Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hall. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey folks, it's because I was asked about it and it's a really important thing. I've done webinars on this. Um, look, there's a peak D in the chapter, the peak D, the fourth highest peak. That's where you anticipate there's a, there's a chance of a pullback. Or within three bars, if it goes to a higher high, that's probably an instant restart. And here we are, the one-minute chart. It started to pull back a little bit at peak D. It's still above the 9 uh, EMA. The 9 is above the 14. The MACD is good. Stochastics at 81%. That's good. On balance volume gave you a little bit of a signal to say it's pulling back from being overbought. The weekly, uh, the weekly, the five-minute chart, remember daily, weekly, monthly, I look at this one-minute, five-minute, ten-minute of the E-mini has gone to a leg D. The 9 is still over the 14, and the price is still way over the 9. The 10-minute chart has gone to an alternate account, G slash C, still with really good positives. Um, so it would be the one minute. This is the, the pilot light has to be the speedboat of the, of the one minute that dictates what the intermediate term, that's the five-minute chart, is going to do. And that will dictate what the 10-minute, the long-term chart is going to do. Because I'm talking about this as a daily chart, but it has the same implications. The chart is the chart. It has no idea. It's a one-minute chart. It has no idea. It's a monthly chart. So here it is. Look, it's holding the nine-period moving average. It hasn't even touched the 14-period moving average. If it starts to break, and we're looking at 51.45, and it's at 51.49, that says, oops, there could be an arch formation, just as there was back at that peak G at about 9.37 this morning, when it suddenly pulled back quite sharply. But even that pullback didn't even touch the uh, uh, 9 p.m. moving average in the five-minute chart. That's what I'm looking at. The larger time says so far it is up. I want you to show you that. Why? Because it implies the same thing for all, all of these others. Look, the S&P, 9 period over the 14, price is way over the 9. It's in the up channel, and it is going towards the inside track repellent zone. That repellent zone says you break out. If the S&P closes, this is on the day, above 51.82. It's at 51.45. So that's pretty high. Right now, it's going to the first line of resistance. That's the pink line. And we'll see what happens next. The weekly chart is fantastic. The unbalanced volume is overbought, but the stochastic is at 97. That is fabulous. So we're looking only at shorter term turn downs. And to really get that turn down, do I want to take more time? No, tomorrow's technical Friday. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, 
So let's go to the QQQ. It's the same thing, the same story. Yeah, walking the nine period moving average and fourteen period moving average. Leg C in the in the weekly chart. If it goes to forty four six point fifty nine, four hundred forty six point fifty nine. This week it continues leg C. If it doesn't, that becomes a peak C. Uh, IWM, as I said, IWM is very strong. Um, with the nine period, it's way above the nine. Nine's way above the fourteen. The weekly chart has improved a lot, and this is the first time that I can actually say um, where the IWM <clears throat> is somewhat vulnerable to pullbacks in the general market, but slowly it's showing that it's got enough relative strength to become quite a formidable force if there is in the next six weeks a, a, a pretty decent pullback in the general market, and it doesn't. It's a two or six, and it holds. 200 support on a weekly basis. That'll say, hey, watch me. In 2024, I'm going to become a leader. At this point, it is doing well. That's all. Now, let's go quickly to the gold. Uh, gold is um, way, way, way above the 9. The 9 is way above the 14. Magda is very strong. Now, this, the strength of this, I, I think I spoke about this yesterday. I spoke about this, or maybe Tuesday. I said, there's a technique. The reason why I put the MACD here and the stochastic underneath it is there's a technique. It isn't quite the technique because of the, the, the way it held and went sideways before it broke to the upside for leg B. But this is called a squash in the Chapman Wing methodology. In other words, the MACD is very strong. Stochastic goes really quickly from under 20% to over 80%. That's torque. The torque thing hands it over to the MACD. So that what happens, you get a very quick peak A, peak B, peak C, and then it takes a little bit longer for the momentum of the MACD to take over. This is still only a leg B. So that's very powerful. And we broke to a new high in the continuous contract of gold, meaning that we've gone to, finally we've gotten to a leg C and, um, a, in, and a leg B in the monthly chart because that becomes the new A over there. Um, and in the monthly chart, the stochastic still only at 71%. In the weekly chart, the stochastic still only at 42%. That's either extremely bullish or very bearish. I say very bearish because it's saying there's a huge divergence, but I prefer to use my indicator of last resort. In this case, it's the, the 9 over the 14, and that just says a beautiful U-shaped pattern. Yes, we could certainly pull back from 2161 and test the 21, uh, 20 to 2100 level. If the if the dollar, which is actually now, oh, I need before I do that, I want to go to silver. Look, silver, <clears throat> silver's in leg B, very strong. Finally, in the daily weekly, still just okay, but it's way above the 14 period moving average in both. And the stochastic finally is at 91 in the uh, silver chart. This is very good action. Uh, SLV, I was asked if I'd look at that. I don't think I've updated. Yes, I have. This is actually in leg D. Funny how you can get such divergences. Uh, it doesn't happen often between the continuous contract prices sometimes and the ETF itself. In this case, it's the iShares Silver Trust in leg D, just underneath the uh, 22.55, or was it 20, 53? 22.53 high of December the 22nd in a cup formation. Um, it should get there in the next couple of days. But so far, this is very good action. The stochastics at 90%. Just a quick thing, a high-grade copper. Yes, it's gone to a leg D. It's acting okay. I, I, daily chart looks like it's very good. Weekly chart says, eh, we've been here before. And the monthly chart says, ho-hum. Ho-hum, ho-hum. Um, let's go to the dollar. Oh, man, I didn't want to spend so much time on this because I've got questions that I need to get to. The dollar is in a sell mode in the daily. Weekly chart, nine is turned down. So this is a help. Because now you've got that, the Bach counterpoint. Uh, you know how the one melody goes up and the other melody goes down. Well, so you've got uh, gold going higher, much higher. And the dollar's actually just pulling back a little bit, uh, down 27 ticks at 103.11. But all the technical indicators are weak. And it says, watch out, because there's a, if there's a close below uh, 102.90, the low of the second of Feb, it, it's quite a quick run just to test the, the last support before it's much, much lower, and that's at 102.77. All right, any bounce says, uh, any bounce in the next three sessions that gets the dollar to 
towards 103.63, says, oh, that magnitude of the 200 period moving average of 103.79 becomes impactful, and there could be a price run to that. All right, now, remember I was talking about the five-minute chart that it was saying, nothing to see here yet. So let's go and see where the five-minute chart is. Look, now it's in a leg E. It could even be a brand-new leg. Uh, this could be a peak F, pullback A, B. This could be a C, actually. So just for the moment, because I, I don't want to take too much time, I'll put E slash C. And in the uh, G slash C in the 10-minute chart, and this I'm pulling just for the moment, an E. Because this is where you should see some kind of a pullback for the test, the vertical test that says on balance bumps a little bit overboard at 5151. I'll be back and I want to talk about um, where is it? CTRA. CTRA is. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. So just real quickly, I wanted to do this. Um, I was looking at... CTRA, I believe it was. Yep, Sintera. This is Sintera Energy Inc. Uh, trading at 26.64. Uh, so Michael said he got in uh, last week. Yeah, I, you know, I, I followed this for ages. I always say, I somehow these these the, the uh, notations at some point. But anyway. I've got this as a PC in the weekly chart, nicely above the 200-period moving average, even after the gap. That's good. 
The weekly chart, 914 is still pink, but it's moving very quickly to try to get to green. The, MAC, the MACD has finally crossed positive on the weekly chart. We'll see if it holds it all the way through tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And the weekly, the day, the weekly uh, 200 period moving average at 24.02 was tested a number of times when it was tested back in June of this past year in the 23s. It led to that huge move up to a peak C just under 30. And now it's back on the 200 period moving average. Uh, four, so it came back four weeks ago. And it did not take out the left side low, but instead it's holding really well by having a good green candle immediately after a digestive peak A, holding the 14 period moving average, and now it's in a leg B. If you look at the monthly chart, this is a gray A. I call it gray because the stochastic's still very weak, so is the MACD. I'm sorry, gray B, gray C. It's even got to a C, gray C. Um, yeah. It just needs more. It's a 20, 2656. Now, it's. <sighs> yes, this is what I want you to say. I looked at this the other day. Um, the way it's pushed above the 200 period moving average says it's a good sign that you've got all this activity in the 26 area. Let me just see exactly what it is. It's 20, 25.99 or it's 26. Okay, this is CTRA is, is the symbol we're looking at. Yeah, twenty five ninety nine. Um, it's trading at twenty six fifty six up twenty eight cents. It needs to make a leg D, and it should because all the technicals indicate that it should go to twenty twenty six ninety four to start leg D. Um, now, within that context, mm, I need more to not to say what's on the downside. Usually I look at and I say, what's on the downside? We've already done that. It needs to hold the 25s over the next three to four sessions. What's really important is if it's able to break away from the 200 period moving average. Let me just show you something very interesting. This is the daily chart. I used to have this all notated. I don't right now. There are some stocks that go to peak A, a B, and then a C. And then fail completely. A little doji candle fail, just a real sign of a failure pattern. It happens. There's nothing I can do. I'm just following the chart, giving it a chat wave notation. But what's really important about it <clears throat> is that a failure at a peak C means you've got to go back and see is there a continuation pattern that you forgot about, a previous E or something that now becomes an F slash C. In this case, it's just a pure failure at a recovery, a multi multi month, almost a yearly recovery area and it failed so it fails that's usually very negative it fails at a peak c becomes a c minus usually you go much lower than the left side low which is what you did then it went to peak a peak b peak c and it did a c1 c2 this didn't even do a c1 c2 look here's a high this is a daily chart 20 2609 on the um, 27th of december 26 Oh, nine. Double top exact. So that becomes a C1, C2 because it didn't go to D, but everything about it said it could have. So I call it a, it's like a phantom peak. And I use it yeah, even in trading. I use it because very often you get that pullback. You don't want to be waiting for D and it never comes. So I, I always activate something right there. Okay. So within that context, you can see this is a nice bounce. I'm talking about from the 200 period moving average. But it's a really good move from 23 to 26 because the other rallies have failed miserably before. So this is this is in place as a buy mode in the daily chart. It should go to D. So let's deal with it. Give me a few days. I like what I'm seeing. And if it's able to get to the 27s, we'll do an another another analysis because then the weekly chart becomes important in terms of the stochastic, where it is, et cetera, because that stochastic is at 54%. Hope that helps you. Congratulations, you got in correctly. And now it's just a matter of managing the trade, and we'll see what happens. Our next question. Oh, so this is what I thought. You know, I'm busy doing you know, every night or every morning. I'm, I'm, I, even when sitting and relaxing, doing something in the evening, I'll have my charts up and I'm doing my work. Then I say to myself, okay, what would be the real signal that I always talk about over the decades? Well, isn't it Ferrari? Aren't we in the, I mean, Ferrari? Now, have they gone electric? Yep. 
Uh, what are they doing? Well, Ferrari made a 439 round number all-time high about six or seven sessions ago, right on the, tw on the 20 uh, 28th. It went to 430. Oh, wait, was that, is that correct? Let me just, hey, where did I get the 439 from? Oh, 430.08. Sorry, I, I misinterpreted that. 430.08. Or was that 09? Whatever it is. 08. That was a high. That's the. It wasn't a round number high. It was just a high. Now, what's really important to me is I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, what's going on right now? Well, yesterday, what did it do? It had a four. Let me just get this right. Um, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, oh, that's right. The very next day, oh man, I shouldn't have changed that. The very next day, it had a 425 round, that's what I wanted. 425 round number, uh, two days later, that's what it was. Okay, two days later, there's a, a round number open at 425. And then it gaps down. And it goes down, it goes down to 408. So it went from 425 round number, open, 430, I think. What did I say? Four, oh, I've just messed it up. Uh, let me get out of that completely. Let's move it away. The all-time high was, oh, I just got it. I was right. No, it wasn't. Oh, oh it was 08. I, I misread the, the 008 is 00. So it's 08. 430.08 wasn't a round number high. It was a high. And then a 425, and now it's pulled back from that number, but it's actually at 420.20. .20. And I thought, okay, now I'm starting to see in all sorts of diverse areas, not just the tech sector, not just in the semiconductors, but it's just everywhere. I mean, I, I wrote them, look at this, BRK.B. Would you say that this is a high-tech um, uh, instrument? It's called... Berkshire Hathaway B shares Congl conglomerate. Oh, I left out the L there. Conglomerate. 430. Oh, that was a 430.00 round number high. Let me just check that. I mean, like, yep, 430.00 round number high, and it opens at 4 422 round number. I, I, I'm going to try to explain that because I've never read anything about this. It's something that I've been looking at it as with all my technique, technical indicators for not just years, but decades. I'll talk about it when we return. Dow's up 178. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So we're looking at, so this is what I'm saying. There, there is something going on here, and it's a more, the way I've always looked at it, it's more um, an intermediate term phenomenon, meaning that sometimes it works immediately, but the sheer number in the diverse areas now that I'm starting to see the round numbers, it's almost as if there's a desperation to get in or get out that you just never see. I mean, you can go back. I, I don't want to waste time yet. I've gone back to many of these charts, and I've scrolled all the way back with the high, the low, the open, and the close. That's four opportunities for round numbers. You just never see them, especially in something like, a, I mean, Berkshire Hathaway is like a, like a fund, right? And here it is down at 402. 422 open, uh, 430 round number high. Look at this arm. Has it finally t hit it? Nope. 164 round number high. There's arm holdings on the 12th of February, you've had all that time in which normally in this pattern, you'd make a U-shaped pattern and go back to the high. In this case, you're making almost like an arch formation. And even today, yesterday, there was a round number 141 open. Today, there's a 140.00 round number open. I, this, this is a phenomenon that I don't recall seeing. I mean, I should be able to. Maybe I'll do that. I'll take a, a little time if I can over the weekend and see if I can put it into some kind of a spreadsheet or something. I don't do spreadsheets, but maybe something like that. Um, and here we are, NVIDIA all-time high. You've got a whole bunch of uh, uh, round numbers, but it keeps going higher. Was that the signal to go higher? But that's interesting. Look, Don't tell me this is not overbought, but overbought. Look, we thought that this was overbought right here. And yet, look, it's walking the nine period moving average. It needn't have been a single short position, just holding the one long. And here I am on the show. And I haven't got any position on this at all. Like, all I had to do was just grab it. You can grab it anyway. You grab it right here at 51.58 at the high. If this continues, you look back and say, oh, you remember Apple was like that years ago? I said, God, any, any day you could have bought Apple, and yet it kept going high. So this is what I'm saying, that you can use, you can refine it down to, one indicator, but does that work when you're going sideways? When you're going sideways, you can get chopped to pieces because you're buying the crossover, then it crosses over again. The distance between the two is big enough that it finally adds up. It can take a, quite a bit of chunk of profit away. So, all right, I just wanted to do that because I think it was so important just to explain some of the techniques as we move along. This TFN is all about techniques. We talk about that all the time. Um, now, I, want, I could go through a whole bunch of other stocks that have uh, the round numbers. But instead, um, I want you to look at something, uh, for instance, in the den, now in the Tiger YouTube. I looked at this yesterday. FCX is Freeport, McMoran, Copper. And there are so many of these positions that were lo not looking that great. Look, it made a, a retest of the left side low, but that was successful because it didn't get close to the 36s. It, it went down to uh, look, the lowest 30. Uh, 3626 on the 13th of February. FCX is a symbol. 
and today's uh, yes, three days ago the low was thirty six seventy five, and then look what you got today, and now what are you doing for the first time in quite a while? You got the rally that's going towards the what? Chamwee inside track repellent zone, right here. That means the whole area of the forty ones should be uh, resistance, and if it's not, hmm. Look at the week, look at the monthly chart. This is the here's the here's the weekly chart. Look how long term this is. Finally, you're making higher highs and higher lows. That means if the MACD is holding very well, that's a good sign. It was pink. That's the reason why I didn't do anything uh, uh, because the weekly chart was still pink just a couple of days ago. Now it's flipped. The nine period moving average is flipped to green, and the stochastics at 42 percent, way above the uh, single digits that it was at back in October, November of this past year. So the weekly chart is saying, hey, there is an improvement, and you've got this wedge formation. The irony of the whole thing about the wedge formation is that it looks fantastic, like that's resistance, and then suddenly it breaks out, and it's just goodbye to that level completely that you can get rid of it because it becomes support. So that's on the one side. And the same thing on the downside. It can break, but then you've got left side arch formation that says that whole area of the 32s should be very strong support. So this is a very important moment. Why? We want to see copper moving higher in this particular phase. If it suddenly stalls, that's going to be something else entirely. So I wanted to show you that was a good question. The day. Yes. So the, the, the resistance that it has now is at 41, just under 41. If it closes on a daily basis above 41.30, uh, that's a good sign because it's starting to tackle the weekly resistance. And we'll see if in the next three sessions it actually has a push into the 42s. It means that is a very good sign. So, um, yeah, okay, and the question came in here. That, what about your Microsoft? <laughs> Microsoft? So Microsoft, I said before, is stuck in the range. It's in like a rectangle. It's just stuck below the high and the low, uh, the 30, the 397 area is key support, and the resistance is at 415. We've not had any trading position on this for a couple of weeks, at least, uh, yeah, a little bit, um, only because I wanted to see, I think it's a tell for me in the sectors that say within a sector, and that's the uh, Magnificent Seven, not everything's working. And let me show you what I mean. Amazon has pulled back from that peak E and uh, the daily chart, leg D, doji candle so far in the weekly chart, leg C, very strong um, monthly chart up until we've only just begun March. So this is, I can't do anything here. That's just the whole month we have to wait for the candle. But it's walking the 14 period moving average and pushing above the nine. But it's really kind of struggling here. And it's had, uh, I just wanted to show you something. So the high, um, the recent high, not 188 where it was in July 2021, but the recent high of 180. 180.14, uh, this is just a minor pullback. The 9 is still way over the 14, so it's still positive. Um, looking at Googie, Goog, I never go to the G-O-G-G-L. I go to the, just the core, which is the Alphabet Inc. C search engine stock. Uh, trading off the high of 100, the 155 area, had a chapter with two bar reversal, 155.20, high of the 29th of January, 155.04. That's a two-bar reversal and a Chapman Wave Roman, mini Roman candle gaps down the next day. And yet it is on the 200 period moving average at 133. Oh, wait a minute. I was trying to find something here. Yes. I wasn't sure if it happened. I wanted to look on that. No, there wasn't a round number. I thought it was very close. It was to the penny. 154.01 and 155.04 were the numbers, the high and the open. Now, just missed it. But anyway. So here we are at the, at the lows and um, of this particular move. Now, this is what I wanted to talk about. There's no other way I can count this. Uh, what I guess it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That would be that would just be kind of forcing the issue. It's a legitimate way that this was an F, and that's the start of the new move to the upside of the weekly chart from the week of the 14th of July. Uh -uh, I, I, I don't want to do this. It's a peak C, and so far it's failing, but it's a peak D in the monthly. And look at this, almost a double top, 152.10, February of 2022, plummets down to the 80s, and then goes all the way back to the 155 level, three points away from the left side, right side. Uh, it's not quite a match in time, but certainly in price. 
Um, all right, I'll be back in a moment. Let me just see what we have. I heard a little pinging there. Is that thing we have? Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So the question came in, DOCS, D-O-C-S, trading at 28.81, up 70 cents. So off the 200 period moving average, but it's like a magnet. So until this can get to 28, no, I'm going to have to say 29. 29.20, just pushing away. You see this big, these two candles here. Basically, there's one candle with another green inside it in the wick. Um, 
that says, look, it's like a midpoint with a 200 period moving average of 27.97. So it has to push away. Otherwise, it's going to keep coming back to the 27s. So, yes, I like it. I think it's acting quite well. Um, will it? The, the 9 over the 14 says it's good. So I like it. If you're in it, I'd stay long. But definitely if it closes under 27.20, then you've got a problem. But it hasn't done anything like that yet. Just real quickly, let me say, um, here you've got, um, so that was an alternate count, E slash F. So this goes to C and a D. So let me just make this clear. Until the E mini, five minute chart, 90 moving average goes negative, And we'll only do that if we get down to, is it 51, 54 right now? You'll only get that at 51, 42. That'll be the hint that maybe the run needs a bit of a breather, and that's what I'd be looking for. So the Dow's up 202, S&P's up 45.